This video is going to be about driving test results. If you are learning to drive, then this video is essential viewing for you. I really mean it. I guarantee that you will get something from this video because what this video is going to give you details of, and there is a lot of information packed in this few minutes of this video, it's going to give you information about the experience I've had of of observing a lot of driving tests and also being there for the debriefs with the examiner and, and, the, and the pupil. So I'm passing on here really key information to you. This will save you lots of time and lots of money. So watch this video and watch it all the way through. There's something at the end of this video which uncovers itself only by watching the other stuff. So um, watch this video all the way through. Okay, there's some themes, there's some very common themes that crop up for, for the reason for test fails. And knowing what those kind of themes are would be really useful to know, wouldn't it? Well, here they are. Observations. There's loads of reasons why people fail tests to do with observations. It can be observations, lack of observations at junctions, say, not, know, not knowing that it's actually safe. It might be not giving yourself the opportunity to work on and adjust to what you have observed. So you're doing the observations, but you're not actually responding or acting on the information that you've got from doing the observation. It might be to do with the timing of observations. The other, Another theme is not driving to the conditions. Now this might be driving too pacey, too fast for the conditions. I don't mean in terms of uh, breaking speed limits here. I'm just talking about too too fast for the driving conditions or it might even be too slow it might be to do with the law now the law there can be many things that can crop up um, things like going over the traffic light the stop line you know the solid white line for traffic lights going over there on an, on an amber or even a red but even an amber is not good point of no return uh, yellow box junctions, you know those yellow box junctions and when you can enter them, when you can't. Uh, driving too fast for the, the whatever speed limit is. Uh, solid white lines, the, the solid white lines you have in front of you, stop, and also the solid white lines in the middle of the road, you're not supposed to cross. You know those silver studs that are on pedestrian crossings? You're not supposed to stop on those, are you? Remember the theory test? That's, there we are, there's, a, there's another one. And green filter arrows as well at traffic lights. That can they can cause a lot of of for, uh, driving test failures. Another theme is vulnerable road users. By that I mean your cyclists and your motorbikes, your scooters, your pedestrians. They, they could be to do with when you're doing a manoeuvre and you weren't aware that they were around. It could be to do with the fact that they were going to use a zebra crossing as you're approaching it and you didn't respond to them appropriately. You might even um, be slowing down too much for a pedestrian and kind of indirectly inviting them to walk out in front of you, you know? So, so vulnerable road users is another theme. And manoeuvres as well. Good old manoeuvres. They always get in there, don't they? Uh, control, control of the car, the accuracy that's required, due regard to other road users in the process, and done efficiently. Yeah. Um, and the last one is nerves. You know, because a lot of people say, oh, you know, I failed the test because of cause it was just my nerves, my nerves. But actually, my experience is, is that if you sort of dig deeper, uh, very often there's a reason for these things. And they're reasons, typical things that crop up are things like, well, actually, I wasn't too familiar with where I was at that point, and I wasn't, I didn't like it, and... Uh, you know, that took me by surprise and that bit there took me by surprise. I just didn't know about it. Or, the, or I've heard a lot of people saying, well, actually, you know, um, I, I, never, I never did. I mean, multi-laned roundabouts. Oh, dear, no, I don't like, don't like those. I've, I haven't been on those very much. Don't like those at all. You know, and that's, that's what, what did it for me. Now that, all the, these things, these kind of things are to do with training, aren't they? Lack of training, not thorough enough training. On my intensive driving course. One of the, the slogans for it is you drive more, you experience more, you learn more. And that's the key thing with it. So a lot of stuff gets put under the umbrella of nerves, but actually, is it nerves or is it lack of preparation? Let me give you a quick analogy about nerves. And 
it's something that I've got personal experience of, and that's doing interviews, being on an interviewing panel. And when you've got somebody who comes to you for, for a job, uh, they're applying for a job and they were there for the interview, they are going to be nervous. You wouldn't be human if you, if you weren't nervous at that point. However, if that person is saying the right things about their experience and their skills that they've got and how they can develop themselves to do the role that's required and what their attitude to learning is, you know, you're listening as an interviewer, you're listening to these things, you're ticking boxes because the person's saying the right things. They're still going to be nervous, but they're, they're giving you content, if you, if, you, if you want to put it that way, as opposed to somebody who's sitting there and the occasion has just got the better of them. And yeah, they're very nervous and they're actually not telling you very much about their experience and their skills, you know. And for that moment in time, the occasion has got the better of that person. And that's why I like that analogy with the driving test, because for that moment of time in the driving test, which is 38 minutes, give or take a couple of minutes, for that moment in time, that is your opportunity to show to the examiner that you are capable of driving independently, safely, with due regard to other road users. You, you get my, my meaning with this. So um, I, I just think that you've got to, if, you, if you're thinking it's all to do with nerves, oh, I've failed four times to do with nerves, then think, think about, you know, the actual training, the thoroughness of the train. Anyway, let's get to the crunch because I've noticed that the people who come onto my intensive driving courses, particularly people 25 years and over, they, they like to get to the crunch and, and, and find out the, <laughs> the low down, get the actual low down on these things. Here it is, this is the golden nugget of this video. Have you noticed that all these things that I'm talking about have got very little to do with not being able to drive? You know, the practical skill of steering and changing gear and uh, the clutch and the brakes. People can do that when they're on the driving test. You don't fail the test because you can't steer. Very, very seldom does it ever happen. I know that's a weird thing. You might think, oh, what? is that really true? It is, believe me. People can drive when they get to the driving test. The difference is, and this is the key thing, is whether you are a thinking driver or not. That's the difference, because thinking drivers are considering things like forward planning that's required and anticipating hazards, potential hazards. And so therefore they are a what we call a proactive driver as opposed to a reactive driver. A reactive driver is driving with the blinkers on and responding to things as and when they crop up. Whereas a thinking driver is all the time looking forward and considering what they might need to be doing in the not too distant future. And so that's the key thing with this. That is the golden nugget from this video. You need to be a thinking driver. If you don't agree with that, or if you don't think that I've delivered on my guarantee that you're gonna get something out of this, then go back, listen to the, the stuff before that, that I've gone on about those themes, see where you fit with those themes, there will be links, little sh shooting off on this, <laughs> this video that just give you more pointers on these really key themes. If you really don't think that I'm delivered, delivered for you, then put your comments down below because I really need to understand where you're coming from. I, I want to I be able to help you. Okay, 